Robert, I've heard people use the terms legal custody and residential custody. Are these the same? What's the difference? When clients come to me and discuss custody, which of course is always a very emotional issue, they're concerned about getting custody. That's the term that I hear most often. However, custody is really broken up into two parts. There is what's called legal custody and there's residential custody. Legal custody is the decision making of health, education, welfare, and religious decisions about the children. And when we say someone has joint legal custody, that means that both parties have an equal say into what happens to the children in those areas of their lives. Residential custody is where the children reside most of the time. And generally speaking, residential custody means that the non-residential custodial parent is the one that pays the child support to the residential custodial parent. Now, parties can agree to virtually any custodial arrangement that seems to be in the best interest of the children. And if left to their own devices, parties are generally in a better position to negotiate and settle the issues of custody and parenting time between themselves rather than having a judge who is a stranger to the family make those decisions for them.